The governor today called on University of Minnesota officials to meet with players and try to defuse the Gopher football controversy as soon as possible. As Rich Chapman reports, the team is boycotting all activities until the university reinstates 10 suspended players. This all started when four players were suspended after the first game of the season. They were accused of sexual assault by a 22-year-old female student. The victim said she had been drinking but remembers a line of people like they were waiting for their turn. A month-long investigation led to no charges being filed against the players. The victim then filed a restraining order against them. I go to court. She lasted less than 10 questions and pled the fifth, uh, uh, which is self against self-incrimination. The trial was over, case dismissed, players are unsuspended. A university investigation included additional players, and then 10 were suspended from the football team. Their attorney, Lee Hutton, says he doesn't understand how with no new evidence, his clients can be suspended. The allegations that they are accusing him of is disrespectful to him, to me as a parent, to my wife, to my family, period. Former Viking Antoine Winfield Sr. says when he learned his son was one of the 10 players suspended, he immediately went to the university. And all we want is answers. Uh, we've been making calls, no call back. That's why I show up at the facility. I'm going to your front door. I want to know what's going on. Winfield says no one from the university has spoken to him and any of the other parents. He says all he wants is for the suspended players to be given a chance to clear their names and reputations. Reg Chapman, WCCO, 4 News. The player's attorney tells us that he filed a suit asking a judge to intervene. The player boycott could impact the Holiday Bowl in San Diego, which is just 11 days away. Mike Max is going to share what he has been hearing about a possible resolution. That's later on in sports.